Welcome to another makeup video. I I always say this in all of my makeup videos. I hate saying that though because it sounds like I know what I'm doing. And I, I mean, not only that, but there are not even like these extravagant makeup looks. Anyways, I do do makeup videos because I do find makeup fun, but that's what I like about it. I just like the fun part of it. I'm not really like actually looking good. <laughs> oh God. But um, yeah, I feel like I should make this a series where I like just try different makeup stuff because why not? So today I'm actually trying something new and it's glitter. Wait, well before I, let me just explain. I know that there's glitter eyeshadow, like I have glitter eyeshadow. I'm talking about actual glitter. I don't even think this should be called glitter. This is like confetti pretty much. I didn't know MAC had these. Um, these are the Glitter Brilliance. No, Brilliant? 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 No. Well, how do you say that? There's no I in that. Well, it's this. <laughs> the Glitter Brilliance. This is actually bothering me. Let me, let me Google it. Brilliance. Oh, Brilliance. Okay, I, I never heard of that before, but. These are the MAC Glitter Brilliance. I don't know why that just doesn't sound right. Yeah, these are to me these are like confetti. I mean, look at the heart one. Let me just open it up because I can't barely see in these boxes. Is it focusing? I'm looking in the mirror that I have behind me. Well, I'm sorry if it's not that clear, but you'll see it better. And then this is the stars. How pretty is that? Um, there's silver stars and pink hearts, and I also got actual glitter. Like this to me is glitter. See, this is like you know, like glitter. So I'm thinking about doing two looks with them. One of them is an inspiration from, actually, I did another makeup video on her, Taylor Swift. If you can't tell by now, I am a Swifty. I mean, I don't know, you can't physically tell, but I'm just saying like I made a video that, of me copying one of her makeup looks. Anyways, yes, I love Taylor Swift. And right now her new album and just like her whole aesthetic is very like pastels and hearts and clouds and Glitter. So I am loving this whole thing because that's that's me this whole time. I that's my aesthetic, my whole life. I really want to try to do her heart-shaped glitter over her eye. It's on the cover of her new album, Lover. If you don't know, but it's this one. This is actually the cover, but it looks. This is the cover, <laughs> and then this is the. This is what I want to do because I feel like you can see it better here. See. So for the eye heart glitter look, I'm gonna use obviously the hearts. And I'm also thinking of using the pink glitter. I'm gonna like mix the two so that it looks... So it's not just like hearts in the shape of a heart. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. I don't know. But I'm gonna mix these two. And then I wanna do the stars, like another look for them. I don't know what I'm gonna do for this one yet. I think I'm just gonna probably just put them like around my... Like this area. Like just put them randomly around there. Right? I think that's cute. I'm gonna start with this first because I think this is easier, obviously. And then we're gonna try this one. I heart glitter. One thing that I did look up was how to stick these glitter confettis on your face. And apparently, you don't need anything. You just stick them right on your face. And I did attempt that before this. Like I did put some on. And they actually did stick, but I feel like they would, I don't know. I was a little like hesitant. So I was like, okay, I need something that actually is for glitter and I got this glitter primer from NYX it's literally called glitter primer this is my first time using primer and I think I'm not gonna put it well, okay for right now I'm just gonna put it kind of like in this area I'm doing this okay I think that's pretty good now the other side The main attraction of this makeup look is obviously the glitter, so I'm not gonna really like do like a whole eyeshadow look. I'm just gonna do like one single eyeshadow, and I don't know what color to use. So the stars are silver, and I'm using this palette called Love You So Mochi. I use it in one of oh actually I use it in the Taylor Swift video that I did. I forgot. Yeah, this is the palette that I used for that, so I guess this works out perfectly. But um, I don't know what color to use. Should I do? Should I do this like? baby blue? I think I am actually. Yeah, I'll do the baby blue one. And I'll just do it really lightly so it's not really like anything crazy, you know? I think it looks pretty good. Very simple. 
So now I'm gonna stick the stars. I'm just gonna stick them everywhere. Oh my gosh! I just did one. <laughs> that was so easy. Um, yeah. Just keep sticking them wherever. I think. Oh no, I don't want to do two. I think I'm just gonna do them randomly, like. Oh my god, this looks so cute already! I love this! Also, oh my god, I just realized you can't see the shirt that I'm wearing. It's like tie-dye, very colorful tie-dye look. So it's very... It goes with this, I think. <laughs> or maybe that's... Actually, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that looks good. Oh my god, I just realized I have to do this on the other side. Okay, well, I can do it. So, this is it. Obviously, they don't look exactly like identical both sides, but I feel like I did a pretty decent job. <laughs> See? Oh yeah, let me go up close. I like it. Also, I kind of was thinking of maybe doing little space buns in my hair. I just feel like this would look really good. So I'm going to do that right now. A little later. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I feel. I mean, they don't look that bad, I guess. I think I just have to get used to it. I, I think this is the first time I've ever done this space bun look. Just, I guess it's not so bad. I think it, it goes with the look for sure. I don't know why I'm looking at myself because it's just like funny. The only thing is I feel like I can't like move a lot because every time I move a little bit I feel like it's gonna fall apart. So yeah. But this is it guys. This is the look. This is the stars, the little eyeshadow, and the space buns. And I actually am starting to really like it. You know what I gotta do to commemorate this moment? <laughs> Take a Polaroid picture. What better way than to take a Polaroid picture and look at the- do you see the colors of the Polaroids? They're like pastels. They're tie-dye pastel type. So it will go amazing with this whole look. Hello? Oh no! Why is that working? Oh, did I put the battery wrong? Is it this way? What the hell? Alright, I'll be back. Ten seconds later. So anticlimactic. This whole time, this whole time, this is what I wanted to do. That's it. I forgot that I own these sunglasses. I got these like right in the beginning of summer and I never wore them because I don't go out. But I forgot about them and I'm so glad I remembered because look at this. This is cute. Ow. Ow. This is actually good that I did this first because I kind of wanted my hair to have a little of like a little bit of oomph because it was so like just straight and flat. I mean, it's still kind of straight and flat, but I was too lazy to curl it. I don't even notice, but I changed my shirt. Um, yes, this is another tie dye shirt. Yes, I have like 20 because I love tie dye. I just wanted to switch up the shirt for the look. Oh, eyeshadow. We gotta do eyeshadow. Oh yeah, so actually I'm mixing two. I'm mixing these two right here. Wait, did I put in that right? This one and this one. Is it focusing? Please do. Whatever. I'm using this one and this like really light pink one. I'm just kind of mixing them up a little. Because I feel like that would look pretty. I kind of feel like I should put my hair like back or something. Just so that like, because this one it goes, oh, I forgot about the primer. Well, we'll do the primer right after I do my hair. Use this in other videos. I'm gonna do the heart on this side because I'm a lefty and I feel like it would be e well. I mean, I could do on this side, but I don't know. I feel like this side is a little easier. So primer. I don't know how I'm gonna look at this. Is scary. Like, do I need something to like apply? Oh wait, I have a brush. You could use a brush, right? This one. I feel like actually, yeah, I feel like this would be good. I feel like I'm gonna do the glitter first because I feel like that's pro oh whoa. This is gonna start right now. Wait, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Oh 
you know what maybe i should just do the hearts first because i can do the hearts in the shape of a heart and then i'll just do like glitter around it i feel like that's easier so i think that's what i'm gonna do Should I do like right now? I have glitter all over this. I feel like I wish I can use like a sharpie to go like that, but I know. Oh, this is not working. Help! I don't know what to do, and I'm dying of heat. Much later. So it's been like 20 minutes. I've changed my shirt. I've put my hair up. I swear, I think I was having like. I was gonna say a panic attack like a hot flash like I was having a hot flash because it was getting so hot in this room So I just had to sit in bed for like 15 minutes turn my AC on and cool down And I did and I changed my shirt and yes, this is another tie-dye shirt I was not lying when I said I had like 20 tie-dye shirts. This is a short sleeve though The one that I had before was long sleeve. I really like that one for this look, but I don't know. We'll see maybe I'll attempt to Change the shirt, but I'm scared because of this which speaking of this I managed to kind of create a heart with the heart glitter and I'm almost done I just need to finish this up and then I'm gonna add like the glittery this other glitter so yeah so far everything looks pretty good I managed to like create it because I was I think that's what also was kind of making me panicky I was like oh my gosh I don't know what I'm doing so yeah I kind of know what I'm doing now so yeah it should be fine Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna try to do the glitter now and see how that looks. <laughs> this is a very Valentine's Day look. So <laughs> I was scared to put the glitter on, but it actually looks better when you use really big chunks of glitter like you put the whole brush in there and just dab it on like that I did it this definitely took a lot longer actually no i i thought this was gonna take a while and also it's very messy but i think i achieved it i know hers was probably professionally done i know it definitely was professionally done but i feel like this is this is okay for my first time and for not knowing how to draw a heart apparently i actually don't hate it i think it looks pretty good what do you think Yeah, I'm leaving this shirt on because can you can you even imagine like what it would be like if I took this off and then put another one on? Like, no. So I'm leaving this shirt on. Thankfully, it goes with the theme still. It's very pastel and it's blue and pink, so it's all pretty and it goes with this, so it's fine. I love this whole like glittery, like very just ethereal aesthetic. And I think I achieved that with this one and maybe my star one. I feel like the star one was more like spacey. I guess it kind of was like ethereal too. It was like very ethereal space. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was enjoyable. It was. It was very messy, but this is fun and fun is messy sometimes, so it's all good. Oh, I just cracked my, my finger.